it looks like I've done it again. I have managed to completely break the Souls RNG buff system by not applying one buff, not five buffs, not even an extra 15 buffs, but a total of 25 extra buffs on top of my basic look. <laughs> That's right, today we're going to be using the Strange Potion 2 hack once again to get an absolute insane amount of buffs. And then we're going to use three Heavenly 2 potions. Will we cook? Yes, of course we will. If you're watching the Badger Blocks channel, we always cook here. And it's not just me, look at all of my subscribers who have been cooking themselves since they've gotten the Badger subscriber look bonus. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already to get the extra look for yourself. Now, let's get watch me completely break Souls RNG. And we're in. Today guys, I am once again gonna go for one of the most painful videos ever to record. Now, if you watch my video from like a week or two ago, I basically found a new glitch where you can use the strange potions and essentially just keep stacking them on top of one another. Now, by doing this trick, you can essentially get all the way up to like 30, maybe 32 different buffs on Roblox Souls RNG all at the same time. The last time that we did this glitch, I ended up stacking up to 24 different buffs and I'm pretty sure we ended up getting an ethereal once using a heavenly two potion with it. But today, I want to break that record. So I'm gonna go for even more buffs and hopefully an even better aura. Now, if you don't know how this works, let me quickly explain. So if I head on over towards inventory, go towards items, and if you take a look down here, I have strange potion two and strange potion one. Now with both of the strange potions, you can essentially get five different looks or unlocks really. So from the strange potion one, you can get something called the chosen, which is 150% luck and 30% roll speed. You could also get the power, which is plus 150% luck. You could get the knowledge, which is just plus 30% roll speed. Or then, unfortunately, you can also get the wrath, which is minus 50% luck, or the sloth, which is minus 15% roll speed. And these same buffs also apply to the strange potion too, but they're just increased in the stats that they give you. So the plan of today is essentially try to stack as many of the good buffs as possible, hopefully all six of the good buffs and none of the debuffs. And then on top of that, we'll also stack other things like the lucky penny, fortune potion, Potion 3, and of course, a Heavenly Potion 2. And yeah, if you guys haven't seen my inventory there, I do currently have 13 Heavenly 2 potions, but I will be saving these for the Era 9 release. So today, I think I'm just gonna do a triple max look with these. So I'll probably just use three Heavenly 2 potions. All right, but without wasting any more time, because I already have so many Strange Potions in my inventory, we can essentially start by just stacking the Strange Potions, and hopefully we only get good buffs from this. Because last time I made this video, it literally took me like eight or 10 10 hours to fully record everything and I really don't want to be doing that today. But anyway, let's start off with a strange potion one and let's see what we get. So strange potion one use. Oh, you know what? That's actually not bad. I got the knowledge one. Okay, so straight away, I should go into my settings. Let's go buff enabled apply, tick that off. And now there you go. Okay, so that's now paused my the knowledge one. So you can see here it says I still have four minutes and 51 seconds of the knowledge one. And now if I try to use the strange potion one once again, so let's do this once again. Yeah, you'll see down here it says fail strange potion one cooldown at 4 minutes and 34 seconds. So basically, I now have to wait 4 minutes to be able to use the Strange Potion 1 again, but we can use that Strange Potion 2. So let's see what we're going to get from this. Strange Potion 2. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> oh, no! I got the Sloth 2. Okay. I should have started with the Strange Potion 2. I didn't think about it. Because obviously, a Strange Potion 1 only gives you 5 minutes above. A Strange Potion 2 gives you 10 minutes. So if I get a debuff on a Strange Potion 2, that's actually really bad. So I guess I'm going to have to wait 10 minutes, which means I will will also lose the knowledge one, but yeah. Just going into the future, let's start with the Strange Potion 2s. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in 10 minutes from now. And hopefully then we start to actually get some good buffs. Okay, I'm back already because apparently in this server there is a Jester. And one thing I do need from a Jester is a rune of everything. So let's see. Items, Merchant Teleport. Oh, there is a real Jester here. Let's see if he has any runes though. So Strange Potion. He has a rune of Galaxy. I don't really want a rune of Galaxy though. He has Strange Potions, but they're all sold out and I don't really need them. He does have the random potion sack that's also now sold out and of course the oblivion is gone as well. Yeah, so I forgot to tell you guys, I'm also hunting for runes so this could be an even longer day than it's meant to be just because finding jesters can sometimes be really hard. In the past, I've literally gone hours without finding a single jester. By the way, that's one jester down. I'll catch up with you guys once either these buffs run out or I find another jester. Alrighty, we are back once again and as you can see in the bottom right, all of my buffs, or should I say debuffs, are now gone. So let me try that strange potion to you once again. And hopefully this time, guys, hopefully we don't get cooked. But there's only one way to find out. So let me go into my inventory. Strange potion 2. All right, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Oh! 
Sick, okay, I got the power too. Yes. Hey, buff enabled, let's go pause. And now I'm hoping I get something good from this change potion one as well. If we get something bad, uh, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just leave it. I have no idea. All right, let's see. Strange potion one, use. <gasps> yes, okay, I got the knowledge one. Dude, okay, we have cooked there. Now we basically just need to repeat that process another two times. But if I quickly take it to my strange potion two and try use again, as you can see at the bottom right, I have to wait nine minutes and 20. 26 seconds. So, unfortunately for me, I have to stop recording here once again, and I'll catch you guys in 10 minutes again. Yeah. There is a reason no other YouTuber dares to do these videos, because they take all day to do. So, guys, please hit the like and subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. It helps me out a massive amount, because I work really, really hard on my videos. They take me a super long time to make. By the way, I'll catch you guys in 10 minutes, and let's see what we'll manage to get from the next Strange Potion buff. And here we go again. Attempt number three with the strange potions. Of course, just like last time, I will start with the strange potion 2. So you guys know the drill by now. We're going to the inventory. Strange potion 2, use. Oh, wait. Did I get the power 2 again? I think I did. Dude. <laughs> I got the power to again. Yeah, I've got 19 minutes of it. I can see it there. Okay, well, let's do strange potion one and see what we get. Oh, okay. Yes, let's go. It's going well. I got the power one. Let's go, guys. We're only getting positive buffs right now. This is actually so good. All right, well, we currently have three out of the six positive buffs, so we just need to get three more. We're officially 50% of the way there, and so far, it's only been 30 minutes, and genuinely, that's actually not too bad. Like I said, the last time I tried to record this, it took me like eight or 10 hours. So we're doing pretty good. Although I will say I still haven't found another Jester server. And that's kind of bad because I do want to get a rune as well. Because as you can see right now, I only have rune of nothing, rune of rainstorm and rune of wind. And to be honest, I don't want to use any of them. I want like a rune of hell, maybe rune of corruption or a rune of everything. Oh, but I did just realize something else as well. I only have 700 of these points, so I can't even buy a rune. Oh, wait, this could be a problem. I really need to find the Jester so I can trade some stuff in and then buy a rune. Well, we'll see how that goes. By the way, I'll catch guys in another 10 minutes and then use the strange potions once again. And we're back once again. I'm not going to waste your time this time. Let's just get straight into it. So inventory, strange potion to use. What did I get? <gasps> yes! The knowledge too. Dude, I just keep getting positive effects right now. This is actually so sick. Watch me get something bad from the strange potion one though. Let's see. Three, two, one. Oh wait, I just got the knowledge one again. So I now have 10 minutes of the knowledge one. You know what? That's kind of a W. I got one new thing and I got one repeat thing, but still we only have positive buffs so far. That's that's actually going really well. So now I only need two more positive buffs. So that's it. We're done. Honestly, this video is going so smoothly right now. Well, I'll catch you guys in another 10 minutes and let's see what we get from the very last two. Hopefully we get the last two buffs. If not, this video will continue to go on. Okay, we're back once again. You guys know what's going to happen. Let's get into it. Strange potion two. Okay, here we go. Use. <gasps> no way. I got godlike. Dude, I'm only getting positive buffs. What is going on? Okay, please. Please, strange potion one. Please don't give me anything negative. By the way, guys, if I get something negative at this point, I just have to roll with it. I can't really do anything about it because I have five different buffs that are positive now. Yeah, I can't get rid of these. All right, please. Please give me the chosen. Three, two, one. Oh, wait. I just got the knowledge one again, so I have 15 minutes of the knowledge one. Wait, but that's still insane. What? Every time we use them, I get one new thing, and then I get one thing that ends up stacking. That's actually so crazy. You guys don't understand how lucky that actually is. Well, I I guess I do have to leave it another 10 minutes. But once we come back, I really hope we manage to get the chosen and then we're actually done for the strange potion part of the video. So I'll catch you guys in another 10 minutes and let's see what happens then. All right, I'm super excited for this last one. So we've got the chance again to use the strange potion and let's see what we get. So I don't think I need to do any more strange potion twos because I already have the power two and I already have the knowledge two, right? Let me check. Godlike, the power two, knowledge two. Okay, yeah, great. So we just need the chosen, which is 150% look and 30% roll speed and this is from the strange potion one so let's see what we get three two one oh, <laughs> okay i finally got a debuff but at least it's not a luck debuff so i'm just minus 15% roll speed so that's not actually that bad it honestly could have been a lot worse guys i could have got that minus 50% luck so the debuff that we did get is absolutely fine but if i try to use the strange potion one again you can see yeah i've got to wait another four minutes so you guys know the drill by now i'm gonna go afk and i'll 
I'll catch you once I can use the strange potion one once again. Okay, I'm back for the final time. Hopefully, this is the one. Let's see. Strange potion one. Use. Wait, what did I just get? I think I just stacked another positive buff, right? Well, let me try to use it again. Yeah, right. Oh, no way. So, I got another positive buff. I think I got the power one again. So, we are cooking with the positive buffs, but unfortunately, it's not really what I'm after. I'm still after the chosen. Okay, well, I've got to wait another five minutes, guys, but in the meantime, I really will try to find the Jester server. Currently, I haven't seen any for like the last hour, but maybe within these next five minutes, I managed to find one. So, let's see what happens. Okay, it's been long enough. Let's try this again. Strange potion one use. Dude, what did I get? I got the knowledge one again? I'm up to 20 minutes of the knowledge one, which means I've had it four times now. That is absolutely insane. I mean, once again, I'm still not getting any negative buffs, which is good. We're not managing to get that the chosen buff. So, yeah. I've got to continue on the journey, guys. I'll see you in another five minutes. I think at this point, what I might do is just not record it and just let you guys know once I manage to get it. Because having to record each time is probably getting kind of boring to watch. So, I'll probably catch up with you guys once I actually have the buff down there. Or maybe I just get too many debuffs in the meantime. I don't know. I guess we'll see what comes first. All right, guys. Apparently, in this server, there is a lucky penny. But it's taken a while to close the last session. Please. Okay. Play. Let's quickly go. Inventory items. Merchant teleport. Teleport over. Ah, uh, please. Where is it? Lucky penny. Oh, I actually got it. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Let's go. I got the lucky penny. Also, by the way, literally two minutes before this, look what I managed to get. I got the chosen. The 150% luck and 30% roll speed. Well, unfortunately, I kind of got something bad as well. Look at this. I got the Wrath one, which is a minus 50% luck. But yeah, we're just going to have to rock with it because I have way too many buffs on to lose them. So look what we're up to already. This is just with the strange potions and of course, Lucky Penny. And I do have the Obby blessing as well. So let me go back to my own private server and let's finally finish off this video with some heavenlies. Okay, let's go. I'm officially back into my own private server. So what we need to do next is essentially just equip everything else that we're missing. So if I go into inventory one more time, let's take a look. So Fortune Spoil 3. Wait, but do I have a Fortune Potion 3 instead? Because the Fortune Spoil 3 only gives you one minute of the fortune. So let me go quickly check if I have a Fortune Potion 3 ready. If I do, this is going to be such a W video. Okay, I'm checking. Fortune Potion, Fortune Potion. <gasps> Yes! Okay! I'm a genius! I must have made that earlier. Uh, do I have a heavenly ready? Okay, no. <laughs> I don't, but it's fine, because like I said, I already have 13 heavenlies anyway. So now that I'm back outside, let's put on that fortune potion 3. Okay, use that. Another thing is, if I go into my quest, daily quest, I can put on this, which will give me 3,600 seconds of the basic blessing, so let's do that. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait! Achievement unlocked? I just got the perfect achievement. Dude, no way! As if I finally got it. That took so long. But what do I get with that achievement oh <laughs> i didn't realize i get five heavenly two potions with that as well that's actually insane let's claim all of these and i'm pretty sure you get a title with it as well so at the moment i'm using this title up here if i go into my leaderboard titles oh yeah there it is perfect attendance award oh dude look at that that looks sick a green badger title i actually really like the look of that all right by the way to get back on track what else do i need to put on so let me do a haste potion three here okay that's on let's put on some lucky potions so i'll just do 11 for 11 minutes of lucky now, I cannot forget about the rainbow ice this time. So let's put the rainbow ice on. Okay, that's been equipped. Hmm, what else do I need here? Oh, yeah, I never managed to find a rune. Okay, guys, so I have been trying to find a jester for like the last an hour and a half. Basically, I've been recording now and I've had zero luck. So what I'm thinking is let's put on the rune of nothing. Just so that I cannot get the undefined aura. So at least it rules that out. Okay, there we go. There's the rune of nothing. Dude, the rune of nothing looks kind of epic. That looks sick. And look how many buffs we're up to already. This is going so well. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just put on some speed potions. So let's just do like 103 speed potions. Okay, there we go. Mm, what else am I missing here? <gasps> oh, wait, I could use my universe potion. Hey, let's use one of these. Okay, pop one of them. So if you guys don't know, the universe potion stopped existing in era eight, I believe. But because I made five of them before era eight, I still have them. Well, now I only have three left, but still I've equipped one. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's right here. So this will give me any aura from the Starfall biome without it being breakthrough, which is actually sick. We could maybe get Gargantua today. And I believe the very last thing that I actually have to use is just the Stellar Candle. So let me see. Where would be a good spot to do it? Hmm. Should I do it on top of a palm tree once again? 
I tried this before and I didn't have any luck, but let me try again. Oh, also, before I do that, actually, we do need to get a good biome. So let me quickly try to do strange controller. Okay, I got windy biome, which we definitely don't want. What about biome randomizer? No, I got starfall. Okay, starfall isn't a bad biome, but because I've just used the universe potion, I really don't want it. Basically, what I want to get is like the corruption biome or the hell biome. And then that would put me in three different biomes at the same time. Because like I said, I've got the rune of nothing. I've got the universe potion on and I would be in a different biome as well. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait it out and use that strange controller and biome randomizer once again, which means guys, I have to wait another 20 minutes before I can do that. Oh, this video is taking so long. All right, I'll be back in another 20 minutes from now. But look at this for now. We have an insane amount of buffs going on. Wait, well, guys, Noodle apparently just told me that in his server, he has corruption. So let me head on over there first. Oh, let's go. We actually is corruption. Okay, let me get set up on that palm tree over there once again. Let's get the auto roll on. Ooh, dude, I'm getting nervous for this. I'm getting so nervous. Okay, let me get on top of this tree right here. All right, sick. Let me set up that stellar candle. So if we're going to items, stellar candle use. Okay, there we go. We can see the stellar candle is there, which gives us an extra 20% luck. And am I missing anything? I think that's everything. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything there today. All right, guys. I think it's finally time. Let's get to the 6x luck roll. Uh, actually, wait. I'm not wearing the gravitational. Oh, and the marriage just spawned over there. Look at that. Okay, let's spawn the gravitational device. Oh, the reason I'm using gravitational is because, yes, it doesn't 6x my heavenly potions, but it does 6x all of your other buffs that you have on. And as you guys can see, yeah, I have a lot of buffs on. So let me get myself to that 6x luck roll. Okay, here it is. I know it's 6x because I can see the yellow writing down there. So the very last thing we've got to put on is a heavenly two potion. Okay, let's put one of these on. Dude, look at this. How many buffs is this? Wait, let me count them up. One, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 different buffs are equipped right now. That is absolutely insane. Anyway, enough yapping. It is finally time to do what we came to do. So let's do it, guys. Buff enabled apply. Dude, <laughs> look at this. It looks so sick. All right, 3, 2, 1. What did I get? <laughs> I got a gravitational, no. I got one in two million. Okay, I'm on the 6x luck roll again. I'm only gonna do three heavenlies, by the way, guys. This is a triple max luck video, so let's see what we get. Our second heavenly, let's go. I got a star scorch. No, please. Let me cook on this last one. Come on. All right, here we go. Heavenly potion two, last one. Use. Dude, look how many buffs this is. Surely we cook. Three, two, one. There's no way. There is no way I got a galaxy. No. All right, well, I am definitely not using any more of my heavenlies before the era 9 release comes out. I cannot believe I got a galaxy at 1 in 500,000 with all of these buffs on. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is so unlucky. Well, the one good thing is because we have so many buffs on for so long, I can still wait like another 10 minutes and hopefully within those 10 minutes, I do cook. So I'll catch up with you guys once all of these buffs run out or at least most of the buffs run out. All right, I'm back. As you can see at the bottom right, yeah, most of the buffs are now gone and the best thing I managed to get in the end was just the celestial. So, unfortunately, the max look did not cook again and, yeah. My max look look has not been looking, guys. It's it's not been doing good. It seems like all of you guys have taken my look away from me when it comes to the heavenly potions, but at least I still have my badger AFK look. A few moments later. <gasps> there is no way. There is no way. What? I'm just AFKing. Oh! I got it as a 1 in 100 million. What? Dude, how does that even happen? Oh, look at this. I literally pulled it in the windy biome as 1 in 100 million. What is going on? Dude, honestly, what is my luck, guys? Like, how did I manage to do it yet again? When I use the heavenlies, I get absolutely nothing every single time. But then when I just say, okay, I managed to get amazing auras. Like, look at it blinking away. Star Scorch Radiant. Let's get it on. All right, well, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, make sure you do subscribe to get that Batcha AFK look for yourself. Honestly, this era, I have cooked insanely hard with my AFK look. So like and subscribe to take it away from me. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.